Grade 5 Math, number 10.5, Convert Metric Measures. It's so easy. The wonderful rule about the metric system is that it's based on 10. To convert to a larger unit, you multiply by 10. To convert to a smaller unit, you divide by 10. There's no mixed up, messed up, confusing numbers and sizes to memorize. Imagine if 10 cups equal the pint instead of 2 cups, or 10 pints equal the quart instead of 2 pints, and 10 quarts equal the gallon instead of 4 quarts. How easy that would be, because we wouldn't have 2s and 4s and 8 ounces to, me to memorize. We would just have 10s. Wouldn't that be easy? All right, well, if you look at the metric unit of measures chart, you can see that they all have the same prefixes. They have milli, centi, deci, with a ci, then meter, liter, or gram, depending on if it's a length, fluid, volume, or weight, and then it moves to deca, d-e-k-a. That's the difference between this is a ci and it's a k-a. So even its abbreviation is a d-a instead of just a d. Hecto is an h and kilo, k. Depending on what type of measurement it is, we slap the back to it, the suffix. If we're measuring fluid volume, we'd have a deciliter. If we were measuring metric length, it would be a decimeter. If it was a weight, it would be a decigram. It would be a hectogram, hectoliter, or hectometer, depending on if it was length, volume, or weight. Okay? To convert them, if you want to convert to a larger unit, you multiply and go this way. If you want to convert to a smaller unit, you divide and you go that way. If we looked at all three charts for length, fluid volume, and weight, you could see that all across is milli, then centi, then deci, and then the meter, liter, or gram, and then the deca, hecto, and kilo. They're all in the same place. They just have their different suffix on them, and they're all based on 10. 10 of these milligrams is a centigram. 10 centigrams is a decigram. 10 decigrams is a gram. Same thing for the fluid and length. 10 milli is a centi. 10 centi is a deci. 10 deci is a liter. 10 millimeters is a centi. See? 10 centi is a deci. 10 decimeters is a meter. All based on 10. If you know the order from smallest to largest, from millimeter, centimeter, decimeter, meter, decameter, hectometer, kilometer, you'll know them all. Some people say kilometer, some people say kilometer, and it really doesn't matter which one. They're both considered correct. Okay? Now, to convert metric measures, we can multiply or divide by 10. Look at this 4.6 we've got here. This would be 4.6 decimeters, but if we moved this decimal point on this to the right side of the 6, it would become 46 centimeters. We could actually change the value by moving the decimal point. 0.46 grams can become 4.6 decigrams or decimeters. If we put the decimal place behind the 6, it becomes centimeters. If we put it in between the 4 and 6, it's a decimeter. And if we put it in front of the 4, it becomes meters. 46 hundredths of a meter. See that? So, we ask ourselves, are we moving to bigger units or smaller units? Whichever we do, the decimal moves with us. If we move to a bigger unit, the decimal, the decimal point moves towards these bigger units over here. If we're converting to smaller units, the decimal point moves towards the smaller units. Look at 2.7 decimeters. We want to convert it to centimeters. All we have to do is take this decimal point and move it to the other side of the 7, and it becomes 27 centimeters. All we did was move the decimal point. Because we're moving to centimeters, which are smaller than decimeters, we move the decimal point over. See? Decis are bigger than centi. Because we're moving to centi, which is smaller, the decimal point moves towards the smaller. 
32 hectometers converted to decameters. Well, hectometers are bigger than decameters. We're moving smaller. So the decimal point is going to move one place smaller. But there is no decimal point. What do we do? Ah, my favorite rule. There's an invisible decimal point right here. There's an invisible decimal point behind every number, right? If there's no decimal point. So if we had to move it one space this way, what could we put there to hold the space? My favorite rule. Remember, in math, zeros have no value. They're just placeholders. So what we can do is we can put a placeholder zero there. And we don't really need to put the decimal point after it. So 32 hectometers becomes 320 decameters, see? How about 9.86 kilometers? If we had 9.86 kilometers, it would be 9.86, and we'd be moving to hectometers. We're moving smaller. So, because we're moving smaller, the decimal point goes here. It becomes 98.6. See? It moved over 1 because we went to a smaller unit. What if we're at milliliters and we're going to deciliters? Milliliters are here and deciliters are way over here. What would happen with the decimal point? Well, if you say it would move towards the left, towards the bigger numbers, you're right. So 542 milliliters, which is here, which has no decimal point, to move to the deciliters, which is one, two hops, we would move this invisible back decimal point two hops, one, two, and it would be 5.42 deciliters. What about 28 milligrams compared to grams? Well, milligrams are way here, and grams are way here. Now, there's no decimal point on it, and we have to move one, two, three hops. So, because there's an invisible decimal point behind it, we're going to move three hops, one, two, three. So the decimal point's going to be there, and you know what goes there to hold the place. So now we've got 0 0.028 grams. See how that happened? If we're moving to smaller units, the decimal point goes that way. If we're moving to larger units, it goes that way. Because the smaller units are on that side and the larger units are on that side. How about 17 hectograms to kilograms? 17 hectograms going to kilograms. Now we're moving bigger. Well. There's no decimal point. There's an invisible one here behind the number. We're moving to kilograms, which are bigger. So we're going to end up moving our decimal point in between here, and we get 1.7 kilograms. So easy. The decimal point moves to the direction of the unit size. Move to smaller units equals decimal moves towards smaller units. Move to larger units, and the decimal moves towards the larger units. Isn't this easy? So easy. I think the metric system doesn't get the credit it deserves and doesn't get the love it deserves. It tries to make our life so much easier and we keep using these U.S. customary measures, but that's okay because there are measures, right? So this is everything you need to know about converting the metric measures. Just remember milli, centi, deci, and then choose if you're going to use meters, liters, or grams and then deca, hecto, and kilo. And if you can remember these guys up here, and that meter is length, liter is fluid, and gram is weight, you'll have them all memorized and down pat. Okay? See you next video. Bye.